Advanced Product Quality Planning APQP. With innovation, more complex products are designed with reduced new product development times within complicated supply chains to satisfy the increasing customer and quality requirements. Advanced Product Quality Planning APQP is a structured approach to product and process design. It is a standardized set of processes for quality requirements that enables suppliers to design a product that satisfies the customer. The goal of APQP is to Plan before acting Anticipate and prevent issues Validate before moving forward Facilitate communication the course will go through the APQP phases and bring out what the unique inputs and outputs are for each of them. The output will be setting out the design goals, reliability and quality goals, CONC, cost of non-conformance, targets, create preliminary bombs and process flows, but the most important thing is making sure that the customer's need and expectations are understood. APQP Benefits Manufacturing process functions that are clearly planned, validated, documented, and communicated that result in Robust and reliable designs Reduced process variation Enhanced confidence in suppliers' capabilities Better controlled process changes Defect-free launches Improved customer satisfaction Improved delivery and service. Maximum ROI. Minimum waste. Minimum cost of non-conformance. The course is designed in such a way that it will take six weeks and each week will cover different topics. Topics covered week-wise. Week 1. Description of APQP. What is APQP? Goal, Background and Compliance of APQP Week 2 Plan and Define Program APQP process consists of four phases and five major activities. Plan and Define Program is the first activity. Week 3 Product Design and Development Design Failure Mode and Effects Analysis DFMEA Design for Manufacturability and Assembly Design Verification Design Review Prototype Build Control Plan Control Plan Checklist Engineering Drawings Including Math Data Engineering Specifications Material Specifications Drawing and Specification Changes New Equipment Tooling and Facilities Requirements Special Product and Process Characteristics Gauges or Testing Equipment Requirements Team Feasibility Commitment and Management Support Week 4, Process Design and Development, Packaging Standards, Product Process Quality System Review, Process Flow Chart, Floor Plan Layout, Characteristics Matrix, Process Failure Mode and Effects Analysis, Pre-Launch Control Plan, Process Instructions, Measurement Systems Analysis Plan, Preliminary Process Capability Study Plan, Packaging Specifications, Management Support. Week 5, Product and Process Validation, Product Trial Run, Measurement System Evaluation, Preliminary Process Capability Study, Production Part Approval, Production Validation Testing, Packaging Evaluation, Production Control Plan, Quality Planning Sign-Off and Management Support. Week 6 Feedback, Assessment, Corrective Action, Reduced Variation, Customer Satisfaction, Delivery and Service. Mr. Shishir Bharadwaj will be the trainer of the course. He is an operations management consultant who, after working with Japanese JV manufacturing light commercial trucks and observing firsthand the customer experience and usage of products designed, started his journey in the field of operations management consultancy in the UK, focusing on finite capacity scheduling, selecting and implementing ERPS. He is now dedicated to improving the bottom line and competitiveness of manufacturing companies based on the principles of flow and the theory of constraints. He is associated with the Quality Council of India.
through his work as the trainer for master trainers for the Z maturity assessment model and has developed many e-learning courses in tandem with eQuest, the e-learning hub of QCI.